Welcome back to the Civic Sci TV Newsroom. I'm your host, Jake Krause, reporting to you from Colorado on the latest civic science news and research, now with a focus on the environment. National parks attract millions of visitors every year, presenting a unique opportunity to educate the public about science and engaging real-world context. However, if the information is too dense, it can hinder understanding and diminish the educational value of the experience. A new study analyzed 129 signs across 11 U.S. national parks and found that while many signs are rich in scientific content, they often use complex language that can be challenging for the average visitor to understand. As the amount of scientific information increased, the readability of the signs tended to decrease. Colorado's Great Sand Dunes National Park stood out by offering signs that combined high scientific content with greater readability. To enhance public engagement and education, it's crucial for national parks to design interpretive signs that balance scientific accuracy with clear, accessible language. By doing so, parks can better fulfill their role as informal science educators, making complex scientific concepts more approachable and interesting to a diverse audience. Google Arts and Culture's new project, Worldwide Wood, celebrates the fascinating world of trees. Collaborating with over 100 partners from 36 countries, the initiative offers more than 400 stories that delve into the science, history, and cultural significance of trees. Interactive digital guides allow users to explore global tree species to understand their role in ecosystems and cultures. A highlight is the Botanic Atlas, an interactive tool that allows users to explore nearly 450,000 digitized plant specimens, providing insights into plant diversity and distribution. Through Worldwide Wood, users can discover unique stories such as the Pando tree in Utah, the largest organism on Earth and learn about trees that have journeyed to space. The project aims to deepen our appreciation of trees and their vital role in our world. In 2006, Kazakhstan's Saiga antelope population had plummeted to around 30,000 due to poaching and habitat loss. Through the Atlandala Conservation Initiative, a collaboration between the Kazakh government, NGOs, and local communities, this number has rebounded to nearly 4 million. The initiative's success, recognized with the 2024 Earthshot Prize, highlights the power of community involvement in education and conservation efforts. By engaging local landowners and introducing educational programs for children, the project not only saved the saiga, but also fostered a deeper appreciation for Kazakhstan's unique wildlife. This endeavor underscores the importance of combining scientific strategies with cultural engagement to achieve lasting environmental impact. Thanks so much for watching this week's Civic Science News Roundup. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news and opportunities in civic science. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.